What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And they say, Truth, open up that notebook one more time. Tell us some nobody in a drill coach has ever heard of, has ever knew. Okay, let's do it. Um, a lot of people don't know in a drill culture, this shit get dangerous because even though it's Chicago, this is a big ass city that's small as hell. Everybody know everybody. Everybody got somebody that's linked to somebody. It's a possibility. You do some dirty shit. You can get your ass caught, man. A motherfucker will get up on you. And I'm going to tell you how. I recall doing an interview with a guy. I ain't going to tell you who the guy was. But I did an interview. And he was just telling me things, uh, like some behind the scenes things about Ruger, you know. Um, and I did the interview. Interview got to about 80,000 views. Uh, you know, this was the time Ruger was buzzing. They didn't let the GDs in the door. He on top of his game. He working with Kanye West. He at the events with West and all kind of shit. I get a call on the phone one day from a man very angry at me. He tell me he's Ruger dead. Oh, shit. He get on the phone. You know, he's not aggressive. He's not threatening. But he's upset. Like, look, my son got shit going on right now. He in the best he's been doing. You know, he at the top of his game. Blogs and shit like that are dirty him up. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not trying to dirty him up. It's not like I'm making a blog and putting my own captions on it or just creating a story and a narrative and then putting it on there about Ruger. I'm actually just blogging about things that he's trending about, you know? Shit that's in the uh, blogs, the tabloids, shit that he's talking about, you know? So I'm blogging about that. Never making up reasons to blog, but just if some trends today, you know? Um, Lil Mo and this person uh, gets into it with this person on Clubhouse or something, you know? And I, I blog about it. It did contact me quick. Look, you know, that shit you doing ain't cool, man, you know? And I'm trying to explain uh, to him very respectful because this Ruger dead, I ain't gonna disrespect Ruger dead at all. Uh, but he's respectful too. But you can tell that this guy's respected because I heard about Ruger dead. Ruger dead is respected. Uh, in them streets. A lot of people fuck with Ruger Dead from both sides. I don't know if you understand this, from both sides. Okay? Uh, that's why I say this shit is, is, is everybody linked to each other, you know? Because, you know, a lot of them street niggas fuck with Ruger Dead from the BDs and the GDs. Like, this is real talk. So, like I, like I say, everybody linked. So, let me finish telling you. Uh, you know, he telling me, like, chill out with the blogs and shit. And take all those blogs down. And I'm like, you know, that's going to be hard to do, you know. Uh, I find a way to work it out. Let me change some titles and things like that and, and, and fix the names and shit. Uh, but these are people interviews, and I can't just take them down. If they was just super reckless, I'd take them down. But these interviews weren't really reckless. Them stories weren't really reckless. I change the titles and shit like that, you know. I, I work with you. I'm trying to be the best I could work with you. Uh, he wasn't really okay with that, but he was okay with that. But wasn't really okay with that, but he understood that I was working and trying my best to do it. Uh, then we get off the phone. I ain't gonna lie, I felt uncomfortable. Like, damn, Ruger dad got upset with me not knowing I'm a big Ruger supporter. I fuck with Ruger music. I get that leader vibe from him. I think he's the real deal. Uh, Fast forward to like a month, month and a half later, I get a chance to interview a young lady by the name of Pretty Leah. I think I might have gave her a first interview. Could be wrong, but I think I gave her a first interview. Interviewing female Pretty Leah. She blowing up now. But I interview her, you know, when she pull up, you know, she got a manager with her. Uh, and like, I think, I think just a manager with her. And her and a few of her friends. You know, so she pull up. Before she pull up, her manager pull up. You know, she let me know her manager gonna be there first. Manager pull up to my spot. Talk to the manager, waiting on them to come. They finally come, meet her and the manager go upstairs. We do the interview. In the middle of the interview, it's just, I mean, just something is just hitting me right in the interview that I get this vibe from her manager that I don't know why, I man, I might be a psychic. I, you, you might say, man, a true view, your intuition is strong, but just something in my mind just told me, her manager is Ruga Daddy, okay? Just something in my mind just told me this. I just, I feel the vibe from him. You can tell manager OG got that respected vibe about him. 
just something about him where I feel like, man, that must be Ruga. I don't know why. I mean, I don't know Pretty Leah linked to Ruga. I don't know Ruga linked to Pretty Leah. I don't know none of this. You know, Ruga name, Ruga dead name is not in my head. I'm interviewing Pretty Leah. This is a month, two months later. But just something in my energy, like, I think that's Ruga dead, you know? Because I never, you know, seen the picture of him, like, updated. I seen pictures from back in the day of him. But, uh, man, this must be Ruga dead. Can you believe I'm actually in the room with Ruga dead? Okay, big city, small city, okay? In the room with Ruga dead, while I'm in the room, Pretty Leah, you know, he was kind of behind Pretty Leah, like, in the beginning and shit. Um, you know, while I'm interviewing her, I get the vibe. Ah, what's up, big guy? I talk to him. He, yeah, Ruga dead. I, I knew it, big guy. I felt that energy. So when I seen you, how you doing, legend? He, what's up, true? I legend, you know, anything I did disrespectful, legend. Anything you feel that felt unfunny, we face to face. Let's talk about it. I'ma fix whatever you feel was wrong immediately, you know. I got respect for you, legend. He no nah, no nah, truth is good. I understand it now, you know. It was weird at first because, you know, when I was blogging, the rapper turned blog wave went here, yeah. You know, so it wasn't too many people that looked like me that was blogging from the city. I mean, it was people that was blogging, like the college kids and rap catch-ups and shit, but they wasn't from here. You know, you had Superstar Blogger, AK-47. He was about the only one blogging about Chicago when I left. He had, like, X-Men, Rico's. Um, then you had Sites that was blogging. I'm talking about as far as a face, you know, blogging on Chicago shit. So, you know... Ruga Dead was like, it's cool, I get it. I understood what you was doing. I, I totally get it now, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing, man. Interview that young lady. This about her, this ain't about me. And I just thought that was dope. That OG had that respectable energy. OG wasn't trying to throw me to the wolves. OG wasn't trying to open up the back door on me. OG wasn't trying to do none of that. OG had a problem with something that happened. He talked to me. We discussed it. We figured it out like men and got over that. I thought that was dope. And that's the reason why I say I can feel that leadership vibe from Ruga. I can tell Ruga's a leader. I get that same vibe as FBG Duck from him. Now, don't get me wrong. We all young. You know, we all capable of doing bad things and having bad energy on us. But for the most part, I get a big homie vibe from Ruga. But that's the story I wanted to share with y'all, man. How, you know, you can be in the same area with a motherfucker you got a problem with. This is a big-ass city, but it's small. Everybody linked to each other. Now I fully understand why Lil Durk say, Close that back door, cause I know that love phony.